Hey guys, welcome back to the series, How to Use Poison. This is going to be video five, and we're talking about the LFO section over here. So first off, we have a couple different parameters that we can use this LFO on. So on this list is going to be cutoff, frequency A, frequency A, B, pulse width A, pulse width A and B, and then the pan. Now this is telling the LFO which places that we can control things. And this amount slider here is how strong this LFO is going to be on that parameter. And then the rate is going to be how fast that works. So this is kind of noticeable on the cutoff. So if we bring, the, bring this cutoff kind of down kind of low, and if we play something, we don't hear anything. And that's because this amount is at zero. And if we crank this up all the way and maybe increase the speed, we can see that it's actually functioning. Now this LFO by default is going to be in Hertz. So if you want something mapped to your tempo, you can use this tempo sync and you're gonna pick the rate you would like. And then next up here, we have uh, the different shapes. So we have the saw, which is just gonna be a constant ramp and then stop and then back to its original, so and so on and so forth. So let's just slow this down here. And you can see that as well on the graph here. And then we have the pulse. Which is just basically on off. And then we have the triangle. And then the sign. Which is generally I would probably lean more on the sign or the triangle for a lot of different modulation. But there also is the other options that you can do. And then we have random. which is kind of just random. And next up, this retrig is an important button to pay attention to. So if we go to triangle and we have, and we play different notes or the same note, but we can kind of see that the LFO is just going and whenever we press a key, it's going to enter that value regardless of when we press the key. So the LFO is constantly in a free running mode, but if we hit retrigger, then it's going to start the LFO at the exact same time every time when a new note is introduced. So with it off, the LFO is just doing its own thing. And with retrig, the LFO restarts for every note. And that's basically all these controls. So the way to kind of use these, I would say maybe intuitively, is to change different things. I mean, the cutoff is cool, uh, but you could also use that with the envelope, which we're going to talk about in the next video. But you can also change like the frequency, for example. Let's go back to triangle. Let's increase this here. So we can kind of give like a very fast or slow vibrato depending. Up here at 30 hertz, which technically I believe past 20 is not really an LFO, but that's just semantics. Then we can change the frequency of both and the pulse width, which is kind of cool as well. So let's change the pulse width and let's select pulse on this one. And you can even see that here on the oscilloscope. Which gives a pretty cool different sound. I mean, depending on how you use this LFO, you can also uh, map them to both A and B and use them simultaneously, which is a cool feature. And then something worth mentioning too is uh, this amount knob. So if we went back to reset program and we have it on our cutoff, right? We brought this down and let's bring this amount up and let's have it on the triangle. So and let's bring retrigger. So every time we hit a note, we're going to see that triangle over here or right here. Now with the amount, you've noticed that if we put it uh, as default, it's going to be in the center. If we bring it down, that's basically going to go into negative territory, inverting that LFO. So maybe if we did that as a high pass and brought this down, kind of has the opposite effect. So this is a bipolar knob, so keep that in mind when you're using this for different parameters. So hopefully that makes sense. If there's any questions about the LFO section, please let me know, but it should be probably pretty intuitive to you by now. And thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. We're going to be talking about envelopes and the amplifier section.